Okay, number six. So, using the identity for tan A plus B, solve for the given range the following equation. Okay. Now, for this one, we have to quickly just recognize the straight off the bat that tan A plus B, if we expand it, we're going to get the same expression here. So, actually, this is identical to tan 2x plus 32. So, that's probably why they gave it up here. Just so, just they want us to notice the fact that this, if in its original tan form, is like that. Okay. So, from here, this means that the left-hand side equals 5. So, we can say, therefore tan 2x plus 32 must equal 5. Now, to solve this, just tan inverse, so therefore 2x plus 32 equals the tan inverse of 5. So let's go ahead and tan inverse here. And, and oh yeah, keep your answers in degree into degrees mode, yeah? So tan inverse 5, and you should get, let's see, two decimal places, so 78.69 degrees. Okay, now this one's going to be quite straightforward. All you need to do is firstly realize that because you're working a tan, we're going to use a cast diagram, C, A, S, T, and just, just highlight T and A because A means for all positive results and T is tan because tan is positive. And now all you want to do, do is draw a line over here and a line over here and just put the angles of what we just found. So 78.69 and 78.69. So the key idea here is to obtain as many solutions for the equation 2x plus 32. So we're going to have a bunch of them. And once we do that, we're going to write down all the solutions for simply x. Okay, so that's the objective here. So let's, let's have a go here. So we've got a range between minus 90 to 90. Because we're working with 2x plus something, just imagine this range doubled to minus 180 to uh, plus 180. Sorry for the bad handwriting, guys. Now, let's check this out. So, let's well, let's go from here. So, we always start from this x-axis here. So, start from here. So, we can go upwards once, which is 78.69, which is what we already have. So, that's right here anyway. Another solution is that we can go backwards. So, this would be 180 minus this value. So, let me write here. 180 minus 78.69. And of course, because it's going backwards, it's going to be negative. The result will be negative. Another result we can do, if we start upwards, we can go all the way around and hit downwards. So that's a full 180 plus 78.69. So we we'll also have 180 uh, plus 78.69. Okay, so that's so far. We've got two results. Another thing we can also do is probably start from here, again from the beginning. So let me change color pen is go backwards all the way around until you hit this line here. So it's almost a full 360, but 78.69 short. So we can say 360 minus 78.69, but of course it's negative, so it has to be a negative outside. And that's it. I mean, we could try going more times around, but I believe if you tried going more times and so and then just solved it by, you know, for X, you might not get the, you might, you might have solutions outside the range. So anyway, to solve the rest of these, we look back at the original equation here. And all you simply do is literally, for every single solution, subtract 32 and then divide by 2. So when you do that for every single one, you should have the following. And I'm going to go ahead and just pause this and literally calculate myself. So yeah, so I've just found all the results. Now, just looking carefully at the interval again, so between x has to be between minus 90 and 90, just cross out the ones that's outside, like 113 and 156 and that's it these should be the two solutions